sticky frog. This frog likes to cling to walls and hang out. He uses a substance that climbers can use to cling to wet surfaces. Oh, there are plenty of ninja frogs over here. It doesn't it doesn't flee or anything. It's more like collecting a plant than an animal. Okay, you're kind of bad for shooting that one. Oh, wow, you're fine. I think that I can. Oh, many more plum trees. Oh, what to do? Oh, good. Hey there, kid. Did you come to see the ring ruins too? We might bump into each other when we're running around the village, seeing the sights. Uh, if you want to learn about the ring ruins, be sure to ask the zoning survey team people here or the village chief. You find her and a few team members under one of the ring ruins, the one floating on the north side of the village. There's one floating. Ring ruins? <laughs> they are only the most amazing sight to see in Haru. Of all the ruins that fell in war, these ring shaped wonders are only in this village, five of them. They found a stone slab suddenly writing in four of the ruins. Those ancient messages are the main reason I came to this village. The problem is, I have an extreme fear of heights. My legs start shaking if I'm even on the second floor of a house. And every ring ruin fell somewhere high up. Oh, the ruins is floating above part of the village. So at least I can see it from below. The other four though, forget about it. I can't even get close. I wish I could find out what's all the stone slabs in each of those rooms. The curious quiver. Oh, cool. We have a hat now. Oh. oh. So. Uh, with everyone making such a fuss about those ring ruins, I'm glad to see a young lad like you visit my humble shop. Arrow shop. You must be a fine archer. Mm. If Lurian Village had more archers like you, then maybe things wouldn't have happened like they did. Lurian Village. Ma. But you hear about my hometown? Ah, oh, you're from there. I knew it. I yeah, there was a theory there. She wasn't she, cause she was she married with a Sheikah and then she became part of the, their culture. But she's a Sheikah by blood. If you want to hear about my hometown. I can talk your ear off. Learning Village is a small fishing town on the southeastern coast. It may be out of the way, but it has shops uh, such you find only there. Our village is a lovely place. Oh. But then it was seized by pirates and everyone had to abandon their village. The villagers are scattered all over now. Oh. The leader of the village is desperate to save Lurling, but who knows what will happen. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to take us in such dark direction. Oh. No help is Now then, back to work. No, we know it's... Oh. See someone look at these arrows reminds me of my husband. There was a time he was a regular master archer. I wonder where he is now. Moscado, your husband, I don't remember, he was the Coco guy. So you guys are back together. Ah, he thinks to help with the arrow. Nice. High spirits produce. Oh, a single egg. What's up? 
Hi. Hello, welcome. <sighs> I'm sorry, the old fellows who stopped this place are busy driving off monsters. Oh, they've gone off to the ring ruin that's among the hills uh, that lead west of the village. I was west of the village. Okay, maybe up high. So, as you can see, we've always run out of goods. Ah. Those two, they just don't get along. That's going to stay in the way of them taking care of the problem up there. I can go and check up on them, and the longer they're away, the more worried I get. Uh, quite your squirrel. Jimmy, apologies for going on and all about my own worries. So, what can I help you with? Recommendations? Ah. I usually recommend the sweet carrots that my mister grows. But here's the problem, ah. he's gone off with the other old fella to drive out monsters that live in one of the ring ruins. It's the ruin that's among the hills that lead west of the village. So he's not here to tend to his garden, and that's why we're pretty much out of stock. So I can help with Bye. Ah. Stop any time. I buy it. Ah. There'll be the 12 rupees. I don't know if I found eggs to buy somewhere. This looks expensive. Okay. Can you believe it? I've got no more those. Well, I'm glad to make a sale and we are grateful. Okay, so I better wait a while to go check on them to see if she can restock the single egg. Should I eat? Oh yeah, the guy here was closing off. It wasn't you. Oh, welcome, friend. Those eyelids feeling heavy, then you've come to the right place. Be careful, man. It is it. It's yours for a paltry 10,000 rupees. <laughs> uh, I'm joking. You should have seen the look on your face. Will? Yeah. I don't even work here. <laughs> I stopped by hoping to catch some Z's when the owner up and asked me to keep an eye on the place. He said he had to go make up the beds in the serving team, stay, team tents and that he'd be right back but uh, I don't think he's coming back. I want to look, look for him but there are four tent camps in this village and only one me. <gasps> Could you maybe track down the owner and tell him to come back already? You run across some sleepy looking guys, spacing out, you found your man. Yeah. Out of the inn, okay. Uh, there should be a bowl over here. Wooden bowl. This wooden bowl may not be the most reliable in battling monsters, but it is excellent for hunting small animals. Uh, well, maybe during the day. Oh yeah, let's check it out. Statue. Oh, uh, you also have Sage's wheel. I'll make a bolt. Wait, here go. You have conquered the shrines and claiming their lights of blessing and offer great power. I still have four light of blessing and four sage wheels already. What part do you seek? Uh, make bones stronger. In exchange for four sages wheels, I will make your bones stronger with any sage you choose. I suppose this will make either the hit harder in battle or charge faster so you know for both they'll now make your model with you know be stronger the solemn vow of you know of fire cool the strain involved you know of fire your reinforced mode with no has increased this is outer attack power okay so it is battle Go and bring peace to the world. Hang on, I still got the other the lights. Uh, 
uh, yeah, health. I'm still dying too fast and I'm okay with the stamina I have. There's Lady Paya. Hmm. Mm. Good grief, it's Lady Paya's duty to take care of the village. But whenever I take my eyes off her, she's elbow deep in some trivial new problem. Trivial? That doesn't look trivial. I. Hmm. What's up, Dory? Who? Is that really you? Mm -hmm. Link? Why, well, it's been some time. You gave me quite a shock, uh, so you remember me. I didn't expect to see you appear here in our village. Uh. And right now, too, while our chief is the chief? Uh, I suppose you haven't heard. The former chief, Lady Impa, retired. Yeah, I heard. I met her. Now, Lady Paya is the chief of Kakariko village. I've been working as her assistant, but uh. Lady Paya is ignoring her responsibilities. She won't listen to anything I say. All these ring ruins have her full attention. Ah. Hmm. Even now, she's under one of the ring ruins with the Zona Serpy team. The ruin over there. Oh, if I came here before talking to them during this after the first dungeon, Tauro wouldn't be here. Or at least he shouldn't because he was there. Oh. I wonder, maybe seeing you will remind her about her responsibilities as chief. Uh, would you do me a favor and stop by to see Lei Paya? Sure. Uh, yeah, it makes sense for him to actually know me. The other didn't remember me, but I had to talk to him and Kado before they let me pass. Well, actually I could have avoid them and come here, but usually we would have met them. around here. Turn of various worries, first page. I don't think I'll ever find a bed that's as comfortable as a stone slab in the ring ruins. It's so cool and comfortable. I may never be able to sleep on a regular bed, no matter how soft ever again. What should I do? Guess I'll sleep on it and figure it out later, for better or worse. I guess this is the guy from the inn. Uh, does anyone know how to treat gloom sickness? Anything helps, so if you have information, bring it to Leslie right away. Leslie? Was that the girl from the, in front of the clothing shop? Monsters appeared at the ring ruin out among the hills that lead west of here, disrupting my research. Is anyone out there capable of dealing with something like this? I'm not from the village, so I hope it's okay for me to ask. Stranger is on a survey team. Next page. The cuckoos used to lay their eggs in front of the store, but they've been wandering off somewhere in the mornings. So, where are those dang cuckoos laying their eggs? We really we rely on those eggs for our business. Trisa, high spirits produce. The secret base is a secret just between me and mummy. So no one is allowed to follow me, ever. That's what makes it secret. Not Kotla. <laughs> Alright. The cooks is later. Oh, okay. So that was the last one. Oh, nice. Oh, I... Can read that? No. Let's take a picture. Ah, that was moved here. 
Okay, so the previous game definitely happened. It's just that nobody remembers. Oh, and the picture is here as so. well. Yeah, gotta pass through there. If there's a place that should have. Ah, that's Pura's diary. Okay, read Pura's diary as a chief of a chief. First page. One day, grandmother said to me, You've grown up, Pio. It took me by surprise, so I simply nodded. She nodded back and said, It's settled. As of today, you are the chief. And so it was. Suddenly, I was a chief. But what can I hope to achieve? Just like my mother, I do have Dorian as my aide, for which I'm grateful. Yet, for some reason, he seems troubled. When mother has become obsessed with old books, I'm hesitant to reach out to her with my concerns. I fear this chief's hat that grandmother has given me is too heavy for me to bear. Literally, it rather hurts my head. Next page, it happened suddenly, without warning. I was so frightened by the impact. It was as though someone had taken hold of this world and given it a violent shake. The air grew stagnant, weapons decayed, and ruins fell from a somber sky shrouded in dark clouds. How fortunate that none of the villagers were injured. As for the village itself, it has been utterly transformed. Five large ring-shaped ruins fell down upon the village, and a large opening in the ground has been spotted as is healed. Even with everything that is happening, grandmother said that she was going to set out on a journey with Kado. I tried to stop her from going at a time like this, but she insisted that such times are precisely why she must go. I had no choice but to bid her farewell. Her eyes seemed to wordlessly say that she was shouldering some great mission. There were 11 peculiar symbols depicted in the books grandmother was reading. Could they somehow be related to her sudden departure? I told Pura of local laning about our village situation. She said ring-shaped ruins are incredibly unusual. Realizing this could be a good opportunity to help the village, I made arrangements with the Zonai survey team at once. I returned home to greet them, and that's when Princess Zelda arrived at the village. She seemed almost like a doll of herself. The same outside, but no spirit within. I could not hide my uncertainty. She forbade anyone from entering the broken and partially floating ruin. And then she left just like, like that. She did not mention the village's awful condition or have any words of kindness for our villagers. The Zenith Survey team has arrived at our village. Their leader, Toro, is truly incredible and has already found a clue in the quest to decipher the Zonai writing. I tentatively named the ruins that fell upon our village the Ring Ruins. It seemed the obvious choice. The villagers have treated me with such warmth, they even embraced my decision for us to coexist with the Ring Ruins. Of their own volition, some of our villagers run volunteer to aid research, and others for patrol duty. It is humbling to behold. Dorian's sweet little daughter, Coco, even crafted souvenir items called Ring Garlands. Ah, that's what... Rolla was her name, yeah. She was using... No, it was her... Yeah, Rolla was using that. Before I knew it, our days of never having visitors have passed. Our quiet village seemed to have regained its vigor. Before all else, we must learn more about the Ring Ruins. It is my responsibility as chief to see that it's done. I intend to fulfill my duties as chief in a manner that is slightly different from my grandmother's way. Gun is the chief who sits in her hall with quiet wisdom. That is what the village needed of her then, but no longer. I must keep moving forward so that when she returns, I can greet my dear grandmother with a triumphant smile. Okay, Emperor's diary. Uh, uh, I have to crouch. <laughs> the Emperor's Diary. Uh, perhaps it's a sad effect of returning to my previous form from a hundred years ago, but I had a dream about that time. Back then, Robbie and I did whatever we pleased at the Royal Ancient Lab. Age reversal experimentation explosions, warping failure explosion. What's a warping failure explosions? 
explosion provision <laughs> device explosions. Uh, I recall us trying things that likely would have gotten us tossed off if Impa and Princess Zelda hadn't covered for us. Impa scolded me often, but never too harshly. Those were fun times. I haven't decided where to hide three of my four diary volumes yet. Mm. It seems like a good idea to hide one of them away in my old room. Okay, I'm going to Hateno, so... Uh, I've been uh, local laning a lot lately, maybe I should go back to the lab in Hateno Village to place the diary. Oh, oh, you know, another one. Ah, this is a nice service team, three big ideas. Serving shrine, serving him, or trims program. Oh, I'm not gonna read it. It seems to be the same as the one local lane. So, hello, did I talk to you? Bugget, good day, it says around here. Did you visit the ring ruins? I will, would it if I wasn't scared of heights? No one's allowed to visit one of the ruins that's floating above the village. But if you read one of these labs in any of the other foreign, tell me what it says. I read what's on this lab. What? You won't see one of them from me? So what they say? So, uh, are you ready? Oh, so I don't have slab to tell me about. Tell me what's on each slab of those, I'll give you a reward. Maybe something special I take with me whenever I travel. Travel? Could it be the travel medallion? No, that seems too important for a guy to seem to have it. Oh! What do you guys do? The chickens live here. It kinda looks like a guillotine. What's up? Yeah. Oh, Link, good of you to come. Uh, too curious to stay away, eh? Who are you again? <laughs> Uh, what a droll sense of humor. It's me, Wordsworth, the ancient Hyrulean scholar you met at local lady. Uh, aren't you curious about my findings here, Link? Oh. Here's a picture of the stone tablet that fell from the sky at local lady. I managed to decipher the inscription on it using my notes on ancient Hyrulean I had in storage at this research lab. Mm. You call this a research lab? Uh, here's what it says. Once held, I. Uh, what? Once held, I honore all's hosh made to King Rauru and on King Sonia. Once held, in all, nor. Okay, that is an in, in honor of. What's hosh made? Ain't mage? No. To King Howard Queen Sonya. Thereafter to his sister and to Princess Zelda. Okay, maybe hand mage. Here on this great stone stone and twelve more with hail make in any my time with the royal family. So, me hero, hero, hero remembers, perceiving, for sake of him of whom our hope rests. Mm. There's not much to go on, but you can clearly read the names of King Rauru, Queen Sonya, the founders of Haru. The name Zelda is clearly legible somewhere elsewhere in the text. Uh, what is Zelda? Uh, traditional name for the royal family anyway. Uh, the author finishes by saying that she will write about the royal family's daily lives in 13 segments. Mm. Ah. It certainly seems to be a royal diary left behind by a chamberlain of, or someone of equivalent station. The part that catches my attention is the third name mentioned, Zelda. There's no record of anyone by that name in any of the other texts with Unnerved so far. But this is evidence that the name Zelda is much older than the princess. It dates all the way back to Haru's founding. Oh. What's written here must be the start of 
but first hand account of Haru. Mm. Did you notice the number 13 here? That means there must there are 12 more stone tablets to be found. If a royal chamberlain really left this, oh. it's an interesting perspective of the day-to-day -day life of the era. One which the history books don't mention. There is so much we could learn here of King Rauru, Queen Sonia, and even this curious woman named Zelda. Mm. Twelve stone tablets left. Fascinating. Oh. If happy to find more stone tablets on your travels, get some kind of visual evidence of them and show it to me. I'll make sure there's a nice reward in it for you. Why didn't I take a picture of... I was probably thinking about linking to the patch where you would get a the book of Modora and be able to translate stuff, but if I thought a little bit, I probably will have to take a picture and show it to somebody afterwards. Make sure there's a nice reward in it for you. I could have a picture already. Palips Journal, Red Clips Journal, first page. While Taro and I were talk taking a break, he asked me, Hey Kalip, what attracted you to join the Zona Survey team? A little flustered, I answered that I heard its research division was led by a brilliant man by the name of Taro. Because of you, essentially. I meant it sincerely, and in my heart, I long to continue. And not like these other dullards, you know, you immediately grasp the breadth of my vision. Of course, no such thing passed my lips. But I am certain that Taro, and no one else, is the man who can help the world see my indescribable worth. Our leader Taro has done nothing but, but surprise me since I joined the Zonic Survey team. One day I arrived at the research site to find him sitting on bare earth as he stared at a stone slab. I wished him a good morning, and to that he turned to me and said, Ah, Calypso, sorry, I didn't notice you working overtime today, huh? I thought, I thought back to the night before, as I was heading in, I saw Thor sitting on bare earth as I missed stone slab. Hear me then, he had stayed up all through the night, puzzling over the slab, never moving from his perch. I felt a profound envy of his ability to focus so completely that the passing of time escaped his notice. It's a researcher's duty to use his wisdom and intuition to bring to light historical truths which, which the ruins would keep secret. I think I remember who Kalip was. We carry on the works of our forebears and continue our pursuit tirelessly. Then pass what we learn to those who come after. Our leader Toro understands well that this is not a task that can be completed in a single generation. He says this is why he wants to make so many discoveries, even if the credit to whom they belong is lost. That's the sort of a man, <laughs> a man Toro is, but I, Dr. Kalip, won't be so easily satisfied. My discoveries will be not worth it, to be sure, but my name, but it's my name that I want to live on forever. Not just in people's memories, but in books, stone tablets, and, if I might be a trifle immodest, landmarks. Calip Valley, Calip River, and the Calip Hills, my dreams recognize no boundaries. If they make something else like Breath of the Wild set in a distant future, there could be some of those. Yeah, now it's pretty clear who he was. Uh, where's Fort Hateno? It's around here. Yeah, here's Fort Hateno. He's the guy that used to be in this cabin and explored here, the statue. Enchanted. Oh, it's here now. That's expensive, that's expensive, that's really expensive. Come on, why is everything so expensive? Oh, does the glow helps underground? Oh, welcome, sorry, I must have drifted off. I'm just so tired lately. Uh, 
look, I know you won't help to talk about it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. My grandmother's really sick. I'm running the shop while my little sister Leslie is looking after her. We're sort of getting by, but we're both so exhausted. I'm sorry about this, but we really need money for grandmother's treatment. Ah, that's why everything's so expensive. I've had to hack up the prices on everything we had on stock. It's just for now though, as soon as grandmother is healthy again, I can't set her price back to normal. Mm. How is normal? Uh, uh, I know I shouldn't bring my home situation to the shop with me. It's nice to get off my chest, but I probably should have done it all on a customer. Uh, time to salvage my professionalism. Ah. I'm so sorry about that, allow me to welcome you to Enchanted. Ah. Anyway, you can get your hands on CC Brain Fashion unless you go to Southeast to Hateno Village with CC. But why go there when you can meet all your fashion needs right here? And we serve both style and quality. CC Brain? Ah. The CC Brain is a fashion phenomenon that's getting attention all over Haru. I can't believe such a hot brain came out of Hateno Village in the Cluna. I hope my sister can go there to study fashion, but uh. with our situation at home, well... Oh, sorry about that, don't mind me. Situation at home. Uh. You see, my grandmother is sick in bed, with a strange illness, and my little sister, Lasley, volunteered to take care of her. Uh. Lasley was supposed to be studying fashion out southeast in Hateno Village by now. But she loves her grandmother so much that she's putting her dreams on hold. Mm. I'm sorry about this, but I really need money for her grandmother's treatment. I just have kept the price on everything she had to store. It's just for now, so okay. Bye. Mm. Oh, thank you, Mr. Mother. Ah, you've grown. Ah. Yeah, I think so far only the boy in this one boy in the stable had grown. Are you looking for a souvenir to mark your visit of the ring rooms? I need souvenir. Yes. You know, look, I'm selling a very super special ring garland. I make them to look like ring ruins. Maybe they will bring people together like never before, like the ruins here have. I've opened my shop under the tree in front of the chief's house. We are, aren't open all the time, so keep an eye out. <laughs> you know you are in the right place when you see the adorable shopkeeper. <laughs> uh, what about Kota? Mommy. Uh, she still looks the same. I think. I uh, can't visit mommy's grave because the ring ruins is blocking the way, so I'll pray for mommy he from here. Only mommy gets to hear about my secret base. Uh. Mother, cult of father, and I are all well. Uh, it's a little lonely now that father works for the chief, though he doesn't come home much anymore. If their grandmother is sick with... Oh, there's much stuff over here. Is sick with gloom. Isn't she just come out to take a sun bath and be done? Looks pup, can you see Oaking to discuss purchase? That's impressive. Pupkin, you might be reprimanded if you take it. East Hill, Chief's Hall. I don't think this was called East Hill. I think they maybe they mentioned the Rayfair's Fountain or anything. Oh, where's the last one? I don't know who you are, but I'm sorry I have to see me like this. You seem happy. I'm dealing with an illness, I, and I don't have the strength to get up. If this is about the clothing shop, please talk to Clary. Illness. The other day, when I was cleaning up the hill, I got too close to the chasm. That's when I accidentally touched that gloom. It seems to have taken quite a toll on me at my age. But don't worry, 
I'm alright for now. My granddaughter Leslie is looking after me. She should be just outside the house. I didn't see her. The poor girl is very worried about me. I need to get better soon. Clothing shop. Normally, I run the, cl the clothing shop called Enchanted. I never saw her before there. It was always the two sisters. Yeah, ring ruins. Um, but in my illness, I have interested the shop entirely to my granddaughter, Clary. I want to get better quick so I can help her. But, well, you can see how my recovery is going. Ah. Oh. What to do? At this rate, my mother's health isn't going to. Uh, and Clary is so busy running the clothing shop. I just have to do it myself. I'll find a cure for my grandma. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Are you a traveler? I guess it doesn't ma really matter who you are, so long as you're willing to listen. You see, it's my grandmother. She got too close to that nasty gloom stuff, and now she's sick and bedridden. Porridge is about the only thing she can keep down right now. I've been trying to mix in ingredients that could help with gloom sickness, but none of them have had any effect. I need to cook a porridge that will make my grandmother better, and I need to do it soon. Gloom? Mm. I don't really know anything about it myself, other than what it does to you when you touch it. My grandmother was cleaning up his hill for the survey team when she first noticed the chasm. We know now that the chasm is a source of gloom, but she had no idea. When she tried to take a look, she got exposed. But there's got to be an ingredient that contracts gloom sickness somewhere out there, right? Porridge. This is my grandmother's favorite, made of Hylian rice, fresh milk and wild greens. You might not normally think to mix those ingredients, but it's surprisingly good. I bought a bunch of Hylian rice and milk from the merchants who travel the road to the west, so I'm not hurting for those. But I still haven't found the crucial ingredient that fights off gloom sickness. Take care. I feel a lot better after talking to you. Thanks for listening. I'll keep experimenting with recipes until I come up with a porridge that works on gloom sickness. Do I have milk? I don't have milk. And there's no milk on the store. Your substance goes to touch. This is good magic by bag. You see, in cooking, you get a gloom resistant effect. Gloom resistant. Not to heal gloom. Uh, we're hands on with the ring ruins at last. I can't believe it. Uh, Larry, this chunk is just a small piece of one of the ring ruins. Nothing much, really. I mean, compared to the main site, like that ring ruin over there, it's broken too, but you can still see the full ring. Mm. You know, we can visit that one by order of Princess Zelda herself. No one's allowed to go anywhere near it. Ah. So, it's getting close up. Uh, so, isn't getting close up to this chunk here something at least? We can sweep up some of the fragments. And it's thinking away. We gotta study this ruin somehow, huh? <coughs> Don't mind me, I'm just uh, definitely leaving everything just as I found it. Wait, you're not with the survey team, are you? Uh. Yeah, I thought you were, were gonna get yelled at again. Uh. Uh, we really want to become members of the Zonic survey team, so we came here to study the ruins. Did you know the ring ruins have been found only in Kakariko village and nowhere else? That's why the Zonic survey team sent its specialists to examine them. We figured this was a great opportunity to learn all sorts of things. But Letty has been running all over the place to look for this and that, so we've gotten nowhere fast. Come on, I'm sorry already. But after we're done here, won't you see the sun slab found in each of the ring ruins? Huge scars, they say. Oh. Naturally. Let's see how many of the five ring ruins we can visit to see those. I only thought about it afterwards. I, I thought this was a long side quest and stuff, but... 
this is probably one of the objectives I have. After all, Link has five rings to get sages on, and this is the fifth place who I was talking about. Where were you? See, you so you came all the way to town. Did you mind? Your shop is cheap sound, you open on time. Okay, are you going there? So, is everything alright? Oh, I know what's bothering you. You're looking for souvenirs to mark your visitor. Any souvenir? Yes. Alright, will you please follow cock? I mean, follow me. Come on. How about a ring garland as a souvenir? Only 5 rupees? Only that? What's a ring garland? They're decorations I made using flowers and plants and things. After the ring ruins fell from the sky, Kakuriko village got much busier. It's like we're more part of everyone's lives now, and they're more part of our village. So we started making garlands that look like the ring ruins. Hoping to bring people together even more. I want them to make lots of people happy, so I'm only charging a little bit. That's right, only 5 rupees each. I'll take one. Thank you. Before you go, I'll add an extra little bit of love into it. Here you go. I can just. Oh! Oh, uh, I thought I was going to get one for my head. You already have it, Siri. Don't forget to take it with you. Where to? I can't really put that in my pocket. Yeah, it's just five rupees. No, but I think that. Yeah. Ring Garden Club. <coughs> and sorry, but I can only make so many ring garlands. I'll see you one each day. I hope you really like them, though. Looks like really enjoying ring garlands. Now, I hope you have all sorts of good things ahead of you. Okay, have a frame field day. Yeah. The ring ruins are the most intriguing ruins I've researched, especially this one, the way part of it floats up there. Uh, you had the foresight to focus on all of these special ruins and invite the survey team to take a look right away. I'm impressed, Chief Papaya. Oh no. Ah, oh, she's wearing the hat now. I thought it was hanging behind her head. Uh, oh no, I, I'm no chief. I just couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. I'm really a chief name only, since I still have a great deal to. Hmm? So. Oh, is that you, Mr. Link? I'm so happy I get to see you again. Mm. I'm overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Mr. Link. Oh? Well, Princess Zelda is still missing. That's just confuses the matter more. You see, I actually met with the princess not too long ago. Ah. It was immediately after the upheaval. Princess Zelda came here to the Chukakuriko village. She orders us all to stay far away from the ring ruin that floats above us, no matter what. Uh, I saw her myself, the princess, right before my eyes. Oh. She left as soon as she arrived. 
but I wasn't able to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. This ruin does look like it could crash down at any moment. That's what Pai and I suspect at least. Mm. But still, I know you would not misspeak, Master Lin, especially on the, a matter of such importance. How confusing. Ah. Oh, my apologies, Master Link. I was so pleased to see you, I completely forgot common courtesy. Please allow me to introduce Mr. Tauro, an esteemed member of Z the Zona Survey team. Ah. I invited him here to investigate the ruins that fell on our village. Ah. He has incredibly deep knowledge of the Zona civilization. He is even familiar with Zona script. He is truly an incredible, incredibly talented individual. Oh. It's clear that the floating ring ruin that we were forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. Several more ring ruins with such a shape have fallen down around the village. Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that a stone slab with writing was found at each site. The cipher in the text show that each slab contains rather interesting content, including mention of sages. There's still so much we don't understand. I think that perhaps the ruin floating in the air also has a slab that makes mention of the sages. I can't investigate it, as that will go against Princess Zelda's directly orders. If only I could meet with her again, I'm sure I could persuade her to change her mind. Oh. In any case, I'm having trouble squaring your story about Princess Zelda with the Princess Zelda we met. If everything is alright, why won't she just show herself? Mm. She must have some reason. Until we find out Princess Zelda's true intentions, we have no choice but to trust her and leave the ruin alone. Mm. Hi. The chief of the Shika tribe, she takes the duties she inherited from her grandmother in much seriously, and she draws strength in her own way of being a gentle soul at heart. She has considerable affection for Link, in part because of her grandmother's many tales about the hero who defeated the Calamity. Yeah, well, it's nice that she's more at ease now. Oh, I neglected to tell you this earlier, Mr. Link. I have taken over the title of chief for my grandmother. Naturally, I still have a long way to go before I truly earn the title, but I intend to follow that path from the first step to last. The people brought with it big changes for our village. Afterwards, we learned that the ring ruins were true rarities, with certain fe features that are not present anywhere else. Because of that, we now have tourists coming to the village to view them. Can you believe it? From now on, the ring ruins will be the cornerstone of ensuring the vitality of our village. As a Kakariko village chief, that is how I think of them, a blessing born of tragedy. I haven't yet learned anything about Princess Zelda's whereabouts, so I'm not sure I'll be of any help to you huh? still. Know that I will always support you, if you ever need anything in this village, or if anything transpires, we are here to, for you. The whole story about Princess Zelda had me reeling, really, so I never introduced myself properly. Yeah, I suppose you only talked to Joshua. We didn't talk to each other. And you really have no eyes. And the whole story about Princess Zelda... Okay, sorry about that. Once again, my name is Tauro. I'm here on Pai's request to investigate the ruins that fell around this village. Oh. Have you been to all four of the ring ruins that fell around the village yet? Most of them broke apart when they landed. We found a stone slab with some writing inside each of the sites. Mm. I deciphered the inscriptions and found out that they've been written by those the ancients knew as sages. My guess is that the flowing ring ruin also has a stone slab with even more details about the sages. Oh. But Princess Zelda has put her foot down and forbidden anyone from going inside. So, there's no way of no. Uh, you. Of course, it's raining. What are you doing? <laughs> Under Princess of the Orders, everyone is strictly forbidden from getting close to that ring. If that applies to an archaeologist like me, it certainly applies to an amateur like you, the Princess Orders. Ooh. 
Princess Zelda visited Kakariko Village recently. Her orders were clear of all the ring ruins this site is off limits. She left before giving any sort of reason why. Maybe she wanted to keep the villagers safe. Ruins are known for being destructively sound after all. You. Hey, you there. Come here. Oh. Haven't you heard? It's strictly forbidden to get near the ring ruin by Princess Zelda's orders. So you better be on your way. Okay. I really want to get in there and poke around, but it be I be directly opposed to Princess Zelda's orders. Uh, is this the end of my dream? That someday Princess Zelda will call me Dr. Caleb? 